Good afternoon. My name is Stephen Dobson. I work for Blue Care Network of Michigan. I'm a CSR2, um, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be in this position due to basically where I've um, grown up from and through my parents and so on. Um, right now, I do operate uh, two companies. One is called Exquisite Jump, um, where I do party rentals, um, walks, um, concessions, equipment, tables, chair rental, things of that sort. And also, I have an um, Exquisite Landscape, which is a landscaping company. We have numerous um, contracts, etc., with uh, churches and homes and so on. How I got started, uh, my dad, he was an entrepreneur, and um, that drive or that was instilled within me to be an entrepreneur. And I, I pushed myself to be, uh, um, I guess you say, someone in the community who helps out as many as I can. I, I try to hire as many young people in the neighborhood or that go to my church who I, who I see trying to better themselves. It's so easy for them to get caught up in, you know, life's tumultuous type of situations and, and uh, peer pressure, things of that sort. But I try and grab as many as I can and I have them work for me. I, I let them take the initiative I'm, and I stand back and let them see them work. A lot of them are telling me I can't find a job, I don't have any money. So I'm just giving them that option to learn a trade so just in case they they don't have someone to motivate them or push them to get into the regular job market or corporate America, they at least have some, another skill to make things happen. Um, also, with me being involved as I am in my community, I um, at my church, we have a program called Fish and Bread, which is every Saturday from like um, 11.30 to, let's say about 1.30, we actually feed um, homeless and um, people who are less fortunate. We um, get um, we go through harvest, uh, forgotten harvest, where they bring food and so on to our church. And then we distribute boxes to, to gentlemen and, and women and, and mothers and, and families who who might not have as much money to kind of, uh, you know, buy groceries and things of that sort. So that's something we do also. You know, I, um, I, I'm i very um, goal-oriented, so I do push my guys to, what, what's their ideas, get their mindsets, and we sit out and talk. I take them out to lunch, breakfast, or whatever, and just, as we say, hang out with the young people and just kind of see where their minds are. A lot of them don't have just um, someone to um, listen to or be a mentor to them in their in their own households. So I guess I just take the initiative. I'm, I got a heart for the kids. I, I see the dire need of the the g gentlemen walking down the streets with the, the pants sagging and so on, where a lot of them don't know which way to go, which way to turn, and a lot of them are single um, single parent homes. And of course, I can't be everybody's father, but I, I still have that due to my upbringing. Uh, I, I don't accept the hans and the what and what you say and all that. I, I demand that because, of course, I respect them the same way that I want to be respected. So I, I thank God just for my personal upbringing. I, you know, I, I love God. I'm not going anywhere. God has brought me through so much, and He's been my 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 confidant and my my best friend and the person who I can contact when I can deal with when when I'm going through my issues and so on. But at the same token, I know that I still I got a heart for the community. I have a heart for my kids, my youth. Um, a lot of men who are um, who who like I said don't have uh, any any um, any vision. And even the word says without a vision, our people perish. And of course, I, I instill with them to kind of see where their minds are going. What are they thinking? What's 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 on your mind? What do you want to do next? You're a father now. What do you want to do? What what do you, um, what's what's your goals? What are your ambitions? And of course, even myself. I'm even though as I operate my companies, I'm small companies um, who. Who just um, just trying to make it, just want to be um, active and in, in wherever I can, and I and of course taking those young people on or adults in general into um, under my wing, that feels good to me. I, I can't stress that enough, and I, I do what I can. So I thank God for that drive, that that's what's instilled with me. So I'm going to keep doing what I can. Of course, I, I don't have it all as far as together and so on, but I know I, I have something to offer that I can give to different ones who I deal with on a daily basis. So that's my goal, and I'm just trying to just be the individual I have to be in this community in Detroit. Thanks.